Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Richard here with Farm Life. Just got some different things to do around the farm today. So this is just going to be a vlog style video. So let's head out to the barn and uh, get the tractor out and let's get this stuff done. Now that we got the forks on the tractor, uh, we've been keeping the does out of this side of the pasture just because we've been trying to do some work and get it a little bit more cleaned up and prepared. So now we're going to be bringing the does back over. Uh, that's where I had the hay bale before and was feeding, but that's about gone. So we need to start feeding another hay bale. So I want to bring all of the feeders that are on that side of the pasture and we're just going to bring them right over here so it'll be easier to feed right out of the barn. So let's get the tractor over there and get these feeders in. This is all the uh, waste we have left from feeding them, so I like to dump this out every once in a while, get them cleaned up. So I'm going to dump these out before we get them moved over there. So. Got all the feeders moved over. I'm trying to figure out how I want to get things set up for this winter, how we're going to feed. So I'm thinking we're just going to want the feeders right up here along this fence. And then we're just going to keep the hay in the barn out of the snow and I'll just be able to feed right out of the barn into these feeders. So had to get these feeders moved out of that other side we've had the buck and the does over there the buck's been in for the last uh he's been in about six weeks we're gonna leave him in for two more weeks i want to get a couple cycles out of these does just to make sure they all got bred so we're gonna leave him in here a couple more weeks with the does he looks pretty rough he's all rutted up and stinky because he's been breeding but we're gonna leave him in here a little bit longer and then we're gonna kick him over to that other side of the pasture and that's where we'll keep him for the winter so I'm trying to get all the does and feeders and everything moved up closer to the barn before winter comes and then I'll just feed right out of the barn and then I got these yearling does over here these are out of our buck so that's why they're not out with the rest of them I don't want I don't want them getting bred, but once the buck's gone, we're just going to uh, put all the does together and then I'll just leave this door open for them so they'll have full access to this side of the barn. i just get some panels up along here so they can't get to the hay and then they'll just be able to come and go out of the barn and that'll be their shelter for the winter and then once we start getting close to kidding, we'll get all the kidding pens and everything set up got a lot of cleaning to do but a little bit at a time so just need to get those feeders moved over today those are looking really good We're hoping everything is bred I'm excited for this year's kids 
I'm excited about them every year, but I think this year for sure is going to be our best crop of kids. What we're planning on doing is culling a lot of does this year. We got a bunch of older does that we got all these younger um, dolings out of last year. So we bred the older does one more time and then we're going to end up selling them off in the spring depending on what we keep out of these ones and possibly buying another 10 or 15 does from a different herd so we can keep mixing things up and bringing in new genetics and working with what we got so got all that finished up so that should be about it for what we're gonna have going on today so just wanted to bring you along with that and until the next one thanks guys